Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday night stream. We got Final Fantasy up on deck here. Today, I'm going to be playing as my Marauder. And then, yeah. So I created this character. It looks just like my comic book character, Gigan Phoenix. Be cool looking. Uh, I'm going to keep leveling him up. And um, that's the plan for today. That's the plan. Let's get into it. What's going on, Rafa? Slonda. Welcome to the stream. First time viewer. How are you? Let me adjust my camera here. I think a little too zoomed in. There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you both doing tonight? Love this loading screen. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm good. I got recommended your YouTube video last night and watched a few, few of my Final Fantasy VOD. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you for taking a look at my content. It's really awesome. Pretty good, and you, man, I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Um, it's been a really busy day, but I'm happy I'm able to, to, to stream today. I've been looking forward to um, continuing my journey on my Marauder. Be lighting the torch. Recommended duties. The recommendations list displays quests or duties current available in your area. Highlighting an item in the list will display further information regarding the duty, such as location. Recommendations are helpful for picking up quick gill and experience, or simply confirming if there are any quests or hunting targets in your area you might have missed. Ooh. Kind of similar to WoW. It seems like they really... Like questing, low-level quests even after you've passed, like, helps get you gill. That's nice. Do 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 the flock cornerstone cornerstone Go over here to the slide. I'm looking forward to seeing how you enjoy Final Fantasy 14. It's my first it's my first MMO and I started back in January. Okay. First MMO, wow, oh my gosh, I remember my first MMO. World. Actually, let me think. My first MMO was Star Wars Galaxies. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Old six arms. I don't know if I could take them. Try. Let's go, old six arms. I'm actually working on a YouTube video right now about my first impressions about Final Fantasy. You should definitely check that out. Planning on releasing it in the next few days here. Yo! I need to update my key bindings. My key bindings are like all over the place right now. I need a healer. Let's get rid of this little ad here. Come here, buddy. There we go. All right, old six arms. first time in Will Roth. I'll be interested to watch it. You're a well veteran 16 years where I am. I started the game right before Burning Crusade uh, launched. That really makes me happy to hear that. 
you're interested in watching me play the game. When I played World of Warcraft and Burning Crusade came out, um, I played the arena a lot with my friends from my guild. And, um, take a potion real quick. Um, anyway, yeah, so back then I used to do some video editing <laughs> when I was like 16 years old. 15, 16 years old. And let me tell you, the quality of video is way better now. <laughs> Let's go, old six arms. What do you got? Yeah. We did it. Look at that. Only, is that serious? Only 26 gil? Oh. Maybe I would have gotten more if I synced my level. I don't know. 26 gil, huh? I feel like that was a waste of time. You say a yellow jacket sent you here, eh? My light's grown dim, has it? Well, oh, course it bloody has. <laughs> the bomb that fuels my furnace has kept the buggering off, you say? If I don't get that bacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. All right, let's go. I know you're just a messenger lab, but I can tell an adventurer when I see one of them. They chase down the bomb and bring back a claw to rip off the smoldering corpse. Wow. Talk about gruesome. Take this here iron brazier. Set her down in the middle of the rock, somewhere near the scarecrow, I'd say. You get a nice fire gone, and that, that frisky bomb will soon be about. Watch your son sting singe your eyebrows, lad. All right, let's go. Conswis. <laughs> we need to hear I can swap characters. I'm usually on crystal, but DC travel got shut off. So I can just swap to my Lamia character. Gil is not hard to come by. Fates are mostly good for seals. Seals, okay. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the main storyline right now. I'm not like trying to grind out Gil or anything like that. Because I started doing that in WoW and like I kind of, it kind of ruined the fun for me. <clears throat> Oh my god, these these things aggro. Fuse. Don't hit me. Ah. Oh. Go. A fat dodo. <laughs> All right. Um, is it gonna blow up? Light the brazier. Light it. I like this ability, the low blow, it um makes it so the person can the the mob can't use abilities. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's rare that I actually have to use the health potion. Like I'm usually good. Like my character is pretty resilient. And I highly doubt I have <laughs> any good gear on right now. Definitely do not grind Gil or XP for that matter as your level. Enjoying the story is like 90% of Final Fantasy. Yeah, totally. That's what I've um, noticed. I used to play um, the original Final Fantasies, you know, like the actual games, not the online. I never played uh, Final Fantasy XI online, <clears throat> but I played uh, 10 and 10-2 on 
Um, I played Final Fantasy VII Remake. I I played Lightning the Thirteen. I think I played Thirteen too. Played the second one. I didn't play the third one though. You got the ashy bastard, did you? I love the day night cycle in this game, and I love that at night time there's so many stars out. I even attune. We were to ask you, adventurer, take yourself straight away to the armor's guild and limbs of Lemos, the most Lema, Lomini, Lomini, Lominsa. Explain the situation to Forge Master. All right, let's go. Um, I know I have to. Yeah, okay. I have to go back there anyway because I did this quest. Fantastic. This guy's name is Bullion. Bullion Cube. Played through seven, eight, ten, ten, two. 12. Oh yeah, shoot, I did play 12. 12 was good too. I liked 12 a lot. Um, where do I? This thing. Mm-hmm. We're back, guild master. Once again, the, your capacity for carnage has been tested and proven. The creatures you defeated, however, were merely some of the many uh, base scavengers that subsist on the scraps left in the wake of Kujata's rampages. To face Kujata himself, you yet require more training. But do not despair, Gigan. As axe master and fellow marauder, this I swear, I will not rest until I have taught you everything that I know. He didn't say that, but <laughs> how to wring every last ounce of power from your weapon until the blade of your axe can slice cleanly through the thickest hide, the most knotted muscle, the densest bone, the menace will fall by your hand. Wow, that's, that's crazy. You may find yourself drawn to explore the possibilities offered by other disciplines and guilds. These distractions are inevitable and perhaps necessary. But I urge you to soon return to the path of Marauder. I do not wish your edge too dull, just as you begin to show your such potential. You now have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock other classes can be undertaken by speaking to the receptionist and the corresponding guild. There exists a myriad of disciplines in Eorzea that adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that you first focus on mastering your current class. Is that... Is it the most rewarding though? I don't know. I kind of want to level up a rogue. Rogue sounds really cool. Item comparison. Leather jacket or a hemp action. Let's do the leather jacket. Wow, that level's like laggy or something. Gear sets. Gear sets that you save different combinations of gear. Uh, a button for the gear set interface is located in the upper right hand portion of your character window. This can be a very convenient feature for players who regularly switch back and forth between various classes as well as for players who wish to have ready multiple sets of gear. 
and different types of duties they undertake, such as PvP or instance raids. Select the plus button to register your currently equipped gear as a new set. All right. Wow, Iron War Axe. That looks cool. Looks pretty plain, but cool nonetheless. Tomahawk delivers a ranged attack with a potency of one additional effect. Increases enmity. These are some pretty good, um... A bronze curious. Let's see what do I have here. Oh my god, yeah, new gloves would be really important. Level ten. Excuse me, level five still. I still have level five boots. So let's uh, let's do. That's pretty cool boots though. I'm not gonna lie. Whatever. I like those those gloves. Let's get the gloves. Except, I just skipped that entire thing. <laughs> Where is this blacksmith's guild? Oh snap! I go here yet? I haven't discovered it. Okay, well, let's just go there then. Whoosh. Assuming these are the prof different professions in AO is the, uh, The Bismarck. Appreciate you six people hanging out with me today. How y'all doing? Welcome to the stream. Who these people are? These people are just chilling over here. The Culinarians Guild. To the Tempest's Gate. What if I just, just sit down here? Hey, how y'all doing? What are you talking about? Can I like eavesdrop on your conversation? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, enjoy dinner. Thanks for uh, lurking. Appreciate it. So you want to be an armor, so you want to be a blacksmith. I don't really care. I want to go become a rogue. That's what I want to become. I still need to get used to this map. This place is like a maze. That was a cool ability.
Do, do. This is a nice building. What's in here? <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, jump over the fence into that piling pool of lava. Unless you're blind to death or presume you've wandered into our forge on your own accord. On by the siren of your smitty's hammers, no doubt. These here hollowed holes, limbs' finest, pound metal into all manner of weapons and tools. And when I say limbs', I mean the whole bloody realms. Make no mistake, you need more than a big arm to join our ranks. But if you got iron in your veins and the boulder's blessing, speak up. Builder's blessing. Being fair-minded fellows, they set their wares to anyone at the point, pirates and foreigners included. When folks weren't inclined to pay, be sure to remind them that we hadn't completely forsaken our pirate ways. Times have changed, though. We're a wee bit more willing to share our wisdom these days. The company's been running the blacksmith and armor's guild, welcoming any soul with the necessary talent built to as to whether you've got enough of either, well, that's for the Forge Master to decide. Furnace and the brewers begin need repairs. Uh, bear gets beard. I was just send someone out to tinker with it. Not a week past. Mayhap the bomb Conzwees has had trapped in there was too much. Was a touch too volatile. All right. you very much on to the dry docks forge master Hanaza head of Naldix and Melis wants you to assist the, with the workload over at the Moore Bay dry dock <laughs> no confidence in your sense of direction you best be served making use of the chocobo porters first floor of the mizzen mast in case you were wondering should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet leave the city through the tempest gate and follow the road south may the navigator guide your steps this is all new to me help <laughs> somebody tell me where to go i have no idea uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is over here? It's not even like... Can't go that way, huh? Hmm. 
Fair enough. Time to go back. Going on, Surik. Hey, thank you so much for the for dropping in. That's really nice of you. I appreciate you sending me a nice warm welcome. I've been enjoying my time so far. It's been a lot of fun. Right now, I'm just like exploring uh, Lumen Luminesca, Lominso. Can't even say probably. Um, just, you know, trying to get my bearings and learn where everything is and uh, pretty much just follow the main quest line. I am curious, though, about becoming a rogue. So let's head down there. All right, let's go down there. Is this sun rising? Is that why it's... Whoa, what is that? It only gets better too. Well, I'm the story fan, so that's my favorite part. That is my favorite part too. I love stories in all games. and <laughs> Like, I go through a lot of uh phases in my video game like hobby and um for sometimes like i just completely stop playing in mo's like i'll go ghost for like a month or two but when it comes to final fantasy you know i was i was actually reaching one of those points again right um i was like okay i'm really in the mood to play like cyberpunk or the witcher 3 or and um god of war and stuff like that like i really love open world games like skyrim etc whatever but i i started playing final fantasy 10 recently on my ps4 so i was like hey final fantasy 14's on sale why don't i try it out and make a youtube video about it and um there we go here i am and um you know i'm really liking the story and the lore because it's kind of like the old final fantasy games you know or at least like what i'm used to okay here we go. So you want to be a rogue. This guy looks uh, pretty piratey. I don't know how rogue-like he is. Maybe he'll... I need to talk to him before I enter. Let's see. Like, to be honest, if I were to create a rogue, though, I would want, like, a smaller character. I created this um, this race, the Rothgar or whatever, to be, like, to mimic a warrior. Granted, I do like rogues. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. It only gets better too. Oh my god, a rogue. That's my main. That's your main? That's so cool. Though for raids, I tend to take red mage because it's easier for me to see everything. I do prefer when I raid and when I do dungeons and whatnot, I either like to tank or play a ranged character. So my first character, my first uh, video on YouTube that I made was a um, uh, ranger or archer, I believe. I forget um, the job title. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I like ranged, ranged characters. Um, but for tanking, uh, my main, my first character ever in World of Warcraft was a warrior. And I liked the warrior when I played WoW because of the utility of it, you know? You could put on a shield, you can reflect spells. It felt like you were in the game, you were there like slashing and fighting enemies and all that and venturing. And I liked it because it was so bare bones. You don't have this overpowered sense of magic like a paladin. You don't, you know, you're not skilled with a bow. You just, you just got an axe and a sword and, and then in the vanilla WoW, you actually had skills. So you needed to like level up your skill with the axe and stuff like that. So that made it even more 
immersive in that sense but i mean i get the same vibe with uh final fantasy 14 except you know there's all this final fantasy sugar sprinkled on it it's pretty cool let me read chat uh well rogue slash ninja ninjas are awesome like i the rogue storyline is good i think i enjoyed it nice I'm, i mean i'm planning to play all the storylines <laughs> uh but i'm happy to hear that the rogue storyline is good too so is the ninja like a separate storyline is it an additional one um or is it a continuation of the rogue i was reading online this blog post like oh so you want to be a ninja like you want to weave the signs like naruto you know like i love naruto i main summoner and dark knight the dark knight that's probably the best storyline i've seen in the game Ooh, dark knight is dark knight a dps or is that a tank uh archers get their aoe skill before most others meanwhile ninja rogue get their aoe like 38 oh wow i have not done dark knight yet i'm just learning tanking and healing because i'm old my brain is slow <laughs> yeah it was painful also painful when you drop a uh, dotan and tank yanks the enemies out of it lol i learned a lot I learned to tank with Dark Knight, I learned to heal with Astrologian. Definitely was hard, but it started coming naturally. At level 30, Rogue becomes a ninja. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Yeah, I was watching this YouTube video um, of like starting off with a warrior. <laughs> like that they're the most OP tank right now. I was like, all right, well, I like warrior. Try it out, but I... I'm one of those people that I like to try every job, so I created a bunch of different characters to try them out in, in the beginning. But I, I, I've heard that you can literally play every single job with one character. So I wanted my character to be appealing enough, like in the fashion and the look, looks department. So I keep going back to that single character. I, mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel a connection with this Gigan Phoenix character that I made. All right, let's read this. <clears throat> There's not behind these convent doors for a worldly type like you, gov. Oh, that's hilarious. Should I do my accent? We're the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss. All pure and saintly like. Now bugger off. He doesn't want me here. Hang about, ain't you the cove as goes by name O'Geegan? That is my name. Yes, that is my name. <laughs> I knew it. I like to snitch all the rising talent. Uh, snilch? Snilch. Yeah, not snatch. Snilch. That's a new word for me. All the rising talent, and from what I hear, you're head and shoulders above the rest. Wow, okay. So that's true. I just completed that Marauder quest where he was like, don't go to any other guilds. We want to keep you. If you can handle yourself half as well as they say, you might be one of us. Of use to, of use to us, not one of us. Oh, I'm my bad. I forgot now all that sisters of Elderwise bollocks. That's just a bit of fun to fob off the curious culls. We're a guild of our rogues, mate. And it, excuse me, it's mainly our mark as does the praying. Hey, first time chatter, Hedja McKee. Sorry if I butchered your name. Yeah, that's the key about Final Fantasy XIV. You can do all the jobs of one character. That's really cool. If you want to big brain, become an Arcanist, then you'll be leveling a DPS and a healer at the same time. Very nice. I actually did, uh, I think I started the Arcanist. that's what i started it's cool but also scary i went arcanist leveled some yeah summoner that's what i started leveling too and then started the scholar line to come and finish a ton of buttons available as scholar. <laughs> yeah it was interesting the summer was, summoner is interesting it's almost like pokemon you gotta evolve your pokemon at least like from um, my level five my level five summoner <laughs> Or Arcanist or whatever. It's pretty cool though. I like the uh, Tharmatage too because the magic skills reminded me of um, the old Final Fantasy games, like how they look and whatnot. First time I went with healer, I told the rest that I was new and learning healing and someone said, well, you have a level 90 scholar. And I said, no, I have a level 90 summoner. <laughs> that would be me. That, that's going to be me. So that's why I'm starting with a uh, a tanker DPS first, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna dive into healing. 
Ah, forget all that. Sisters old the elder wise bollocks. That's just a bit of fob of the curious calls. We're a guild of rogues, mate. Cheers. <laughs> and it's mainly our marks as does the praying. I also heard the later expansions, like they have more budget. So you don't have to read as much. Like every time I stream, I like to read the speech bubbles thoroughly. So I get myself a cup of tea. <clears throat> Me and mine work in the shadows, old them so taking a keen edge to the rooks and cacklers who <laughs> would have earned themselves a millen. We don't tout for members, but every now and again, we might offer a promising young cove a place in the ranks. All right, well, just give me a sword, man. If you have an interest in joining us, tip us your daddles and we'll put a hilt in each one. All right, I'm assuming daddles are hands, daddles, just like the gods intended. So what do you say? Fancy learning a new trade? Yes. Good to see you're keen, but I should probably warn you of a few points before you dive in. Where most guilds take pride in turning their numbers into the best bloody candlestick makers they can be. We only care about getting the job done. At the And the job ain't pretty. You become one of us, you'll soon be neck deep in scum and knife fights. So if you're looking to scamper across rooftops and bilk dandies over their blunt, you'd best take up a different crew. Think in that and come back if you're still keen. Yes, I'm still keen. You'll need uh, on oh, yeah, da, da, da. <laughs> You'll need every ounce of metal soon enough. Now step inside and have a prattle with Jack. He's our upright man, the master of the guild. You may now freely enter the rogues guild. Speak. Uh, with Lone Word or wherever you wish to gain admittance into the headquarters. Okay. Looking ahead inside? Yes. Hey, what's going on, Myrtle May? Is that a Gigan? It is a Gigan. It's a pig butt. Oh, this remind that pet reminds me of um the seven deadly sins. I want that. Oh, I want that. Hog. Hog. Hog is the name. What's up, Jack? That wasn't your name. There's so much to love about Ninja, though. I mean, you get the Naruto run, and you have to do flips and stuff. Wait, you get the Naruto run? Okay, I'm going to be a ninja. I, I, ninja's going to be my main. Let's watch. And maybe sometimes I'll tank. But yes, the Naruto run, that, that kind of wins it for me. I'm sorry, everybody, but I do love magic, but also I was interested in the Reaper. The Reaper looked really cool, but I think you need to be a higher level to unlock that. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> you'll learn to, you'll get to know that I'm a weeb. I love my uh, Naruto and Dragon Ball Z and stuff. But I mean, I can imagine people who really like One Piece would like Final Fantasy XIV with all the pirates and stuff. Reaper's awesome to play, yeah? Really? I can't wait to try. I play Reaper in Guild Wars 2. I like, I like Reaper a lot. Very sustainable. It's a very good solo class. So I see a lot of people, like, they literally know Bustas. They like the bunny characters, huh? A lot of people like, like the cats and the bunnies and stuff. I see very few humans. Except there's a human. Actually, that's um one of those demon races. I have name of it. Check it out. Can I? <gasps> um, get the name of them. I'll learn these. Things. All right, Jack. What do you got for me? Is it a voice acted scene? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know why my stream elements is spamming you guys. I'm sorry about that. Reaper's awesome, yes, but level 70 is a sage, which is my main healer job. As is sage, okay. 
I can't wait to try out all the different jobs. I'm the one they call Jack, though I'm surprised you've heard of me. Jack, wow, an original name for a pirate, huh? Captain Jack Sparrow, perhaps you'd be good enough to tell me your name, along with uh, that, oh, the kindly coat has told you mine. Okay, I need to work on the grammar, because it's really annoying to read this. <laughs> Listen, I'm like double your height, dude. The fame, I'm famous? Wow. Hey, my cat is here. Hmm, he can't throw a blade for shite, but that one I don't miss not when it comes to sizing up a timber cult Stalin. Alright, just one thing, you ain't a pirate, are you? Uh, no, but why are you dressed like one? Well, then it's time you was stalling to the road. Stalled to the road. Put your best beater cases and I'll swear ye in myself. Alright. Now I could fill your waddles with the storied history of our guild, but that's just wits and mine. Wind. Wits, wits and wind. The most important thing, the only thing we care about is getting the job done. Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh. Now most fugas I'm assuming are your among them know that not long after Limbs' founding, the city was overrun by a motley collection of pirates. But as wild as that lot were, it soon became clear that they'd all end up killing each other if they didn't lay down a few an unspoken code of conduct as they were okay one you don't bite the purses of your fellow lumensians low minzins two you don't rook a crew out of the spoils and three you don't trade calls like they was chattel i'll admit the finer points of the code are a mite murky but most agree on those three at least. now you might think none of the none of that amounts to a sack of berries. Now that now the admirals outlawed piracy, they have, huh? But in the back alleys, in black markets, where Merlin, okay, I don't know why they need Merlwib's grip ain't so tight. The code's still alive and well. I actually happen to be leveling a Reaper at the moment. The only DPS class classes I haven't finished leveling are Dancer, Monk, which is sad, as that was my beginning job, and Black Mage. It changed so much that it feels like having to relearn the entire job, so I've just gotten to it yet. You play what you like, right? I mean, a game is here uh, because you enjoy playing it, right? Like, you play what you enjoy. I think I know why you still need to level Black Mage. Dancer is fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool though they have like a map with all these knives on it and just as the laws enforced by the yellow jackets the code is regulated by us rogues kind of looks like africa we go where the shadows are darkest and hand, and hand out justice to them as break the code. Some rum-soaked cove steals goods from the wrong coal, and we steal them back. That's my job, my natty lad. Of course, we don't hop the twig when blade works called for, neither. You'll see, there's more to our dagger play than just sticking culls. I'm assuming skulls, with the pointy end. We'll weaken a mark with poison, fade away, and strike the dark marks. Dark man's. The grammar, like, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Whatever it takes to get the work done. All right. Yeah, you stab him and you poison him. I get it. Yes. Let's go. I like... Do you have the guts to do a rogue's job? Yeah. Poison people. Yes, we need my kit sorted out. Give me something roguelike. Ha <laughs> ha. Rogue needs to be light on his feet. <laughs> he didn't say feet. He said do beaters. To stay on a mark's trail. The job might have you fight and cross a deck or weaving through a mob. The last thing you want is a eating great battle axe. What hooks itself to every rope and pull. Hey, I have a battle axe. 
That's why we stick to daggers, to let you slip through the streets just as easily as they slip through a rook's ribs. God damn, this is cool. Here, take these stabbers. <laughs> and let's see how they look on you. All right, let's do it. Just don't get so excited over your new toys or forget to dress for the role. You'd be surprised at how many cults come back with their bloody small clothes. <laughs> I love that they call like your underwear your small clothes. It's hilarious. A friend of mine has been leveling black mages as main, but then he wanted to try RDM and is having trouble realizing that he can should move a little bit more. <laughs> I changing classes. Your main weapons determines your current class. Oh changing classes is easy as equipping a different type. Oh really? So it's kinda like Guild Wars. Um Jobs. Oh, I see. So if you switch, then you have to start a level one. That really sucks. I got you. MRD level 17. Hmm. What is this? What's this for? Armor range. Star. Boom! I'm a rogue. Armory bonus. There's a spinning edge. Delivers an attack with poke. Armory bonus. You have changed to new battle class. To lessen the burden of leveling multiple disciples of war and magic classes and experience point bonus. Known as the armory bonus is added when slaying enemies and participates. This bonus grows larger and greater with discrepancy between our cur your current level and the level of your highest class. Use this to your advantage when deciding when and how to raise secondary classes. Wait, I don't understand. So it just gives you like a bonus. Okay. Do you get the bonus if you're level 80 or 90 still? Or is it just like... Jack wants to give you a few pointers on dagger play. Manage to strap those daggers on without cutting yourself. Well, we're off to a good start, I'd say. You guys like my tattoos and my fur? Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> Next, you'll want to get a feel for the weight and the speed of your new weapons. I reckon those bleating cheats in the field outside Limsa should serve as your first lesson. Ah, yes. Wow. Test your blades on a few of the fams. Slice up some rats. Pugles for good measure. Find that you mill. Easties one at a time though, lad. I know you serve far worse in the past, but you're no dimber damber. Them stabbers just yet. Yeah, your class job level individually and quests rely on you being specific level. So if you start a level 50 quest, you can't complete it with level 20 class. Ah, naked LOL. I am naked. You get the bonuses up to level 80 as long as it's level 10 plus uh, level lower than your highest level class. Oh, okay. So, like, if you're level 80 on your highest class, then you get to level 70, you don't get the bonus anymore. Makes sense. Whip recommended gear. Right. Uh, I've been down here before. How do I get out of here? Hold the egg. I appreciate y'all being here. This is a, this is a fun chat tonight. I love it when people engage in the chat.
You can zoom in pretty far. Summoner. How come I see a bunch of dots on my minimap now? What just happened? I got I That is so cool. Chains? You can do chain Very nice. Shade shift. Creates a shadow that nullifies damage of twenty percent of maximum. Ooh, this is fun. It's fun. Hi Harry! Please don't. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I can't stop running. Stop. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. I'm ready. Red right on the minimap are locations for quests. I love how fast the rogue slash ninja feels. It's really cool. I love how fast that is too. Yeah, I love it. That's... What is this? What do we got? Gust slash? Delivers an attack with a potency up of 100. pretty quick I'm level five now <laughs> I'm killing like three enemies I'm level five like all six enemies what do we got here should I do this how many more lambs do we have to kill we got nine minutes to kill these little lambs It's like just giant little like Gabu a mossless Gabu Here they come One shot One more wave Oh, we win. We win. <laughs> I love how my cat just pushed me off. Push me off the seat. Like, get out of here. This is my chair. Come on, you little pugil. I love the animation. The animations are really fluid. It feels a lot better. Here. Oh, it took a little bit to register. Sorry. All right, we're back to Jack. Here we come, Jack. We're coming back, Jack.
I think I went the wrong way. Did I? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me in. All right, Jack, we're back. What do you got for me? Done with your millin, are you? Can never have enough blade practice, me young colt. In fact, I'll even add a list of marks to your hunting log. Pick yourself against the lot, and you'll soon learn some new steps for your dance with the daggers. Aye, you must be thinking of yourself as a dancer, not a bleeding butcher. You only need so much force to ram a short blade into the hilt. Precision and speed, that's how you're gonna get the most out of your saber, uh, your stabbers. Bulky armor, only have you podlin about like an ungainly arak. So make sure you're wearing gear that'll let you move freely as well. All right, get your blade word up to scratch Gigan as I might have a job for you. Dun, 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 dun. Equip. I need a level five shirt. How come I don't have that? Let's see. Do I have it in my armory? Chest piece. Can I use? Can I use? Can I use? Can I use? Alright, let's go somewhere. Go over to the. Oh, I can. I thought I needed to get my. I guess it's overall. Jack appears to you to give you your first assignment. Yes. And I'll get the custom made tunic. Fantastic. Just remember that the true endgame of Final Fantasy XIV is the glam, so your character must look good at all times. Just so I can go worse too as well. <laughs> oh, they're Gigan. I must say you're looking comfortable enough with those stabbers of yours. No wonder why a lot of people don't play this race. I feel like, to be honest, like, it's not the most visually appealing race. Everybody picks the, uh, the bunny ears. <laughs> I mean, you have to look good while you're laying dead on the floor during an ultimate. <laughs> Ordinarily, I'd stow me wids and let you get on with your work, but seeing as we only just dragged you into the shadows, there might be a couple of things which you ain't yet familiar with. Let's build on what y'all likely do know, and that's the fact that the Admiral, God bless her soul, has outlawed, outlawed piracy. So... Why do you think there's still so many sword and pirates in this town? I'll tell you why. It's cause... There's still one way for him to loot and pillage without incurring the wrath of the law. All you need to do is apply to serve the -la 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 as a certified privateer. A captain with a privateer's license is free to terrorize the seas till the Aldegotes come home. So long as he only gets target vessels and belongs to Galarian Empire. Of course, considering how bloody vast is the Empire, that's plenty of looting to go around. Crews, crews fill their holds with imperial plunder, then sail back here to Limons, to Limza, to offload the spoils. And that's where the particular case went sour. See, this crew got their fambles on a Magitech device, a firing mechanism to be precise, but was rooked out of their hall by some heavy-handed coves. If you all recall, that don't sit well with the code. If you're bold enough to rook a pirate out of his due, then you best be prepared to visit for a visit from the rogues. Oh, somebody just walked in. What's going on? I look like a pirate. Hey! I want the pair of you working together on this. Pass sentence on them code defying rook's magic part tech. You're in charge of new recruits, ain't you? It's Gideon's first assignment. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I like Rose too. My first character that I created was a row. Since when I was in charge, a new, a bugger it. I like the rough and tumble of games. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go do this quest. All right, Parimu. Hold on, I'll log out and I'll show you my characters. My kid's character is a Minhai Lala, and he's tried other classes but keeps going back. Though he says he hates being pet. <laughs> That's adorable. That's really cool that you play with your kid. I would want that someday when I have a kid. Um, the race is Aura, so I think that's not the race you were mentioning. The Rogaden. The clan is Rain. Aura. So I have an Aura. I have a higher. Try to make him look like like uh, Gandalf. <laughs> My character, the Roth. And then I made a, uh, an Arcanist. Kind of looks like, um, what do you call that? I was going for a, uh, Harley Quinn kind of vibe, you know, with the blonde and the pink Harley Quinn type vibe here. But I have four more character slots. Can you, uh, Rose are big buff dudes and I love it. Oh, the rope! Yeah, 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 okay, okay. They are really cool. And the other day, um, in the main part of, uh, Limza, I saw a bunch of rows blocking off, like, they were called the dance police, and then there was a bunch of, like, um, female bunny-eared girls like doing a dance-off session or something it was hilarious and it was so random too personally i'm not a fan of the background of the roth because it's literally a race full of men there's very few females that's a cool character i like the horns the horn look whatever of the ara I do not see a lot of the tall um, races. I like the row female model. The, the model for the row female looks really cool. The row male is like five times the width. It's kind of like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Hulks. Like they're like the Hulk. All right, let's see what this little girl has to say young road see young rogue seeing as this is your first official outing i want to be sure your dance steps are up to the task with them short blades you need to get in good and close to the mark eh but we ain't bleeding swaths and shining armor and the lighter kit we wear ain't much protection from a flick to the gan so if you don't fancy spitting blood in your teeth your best defense is simply not being where the mark winds up I mean, that sounds good to me. Sliding around to a flank usually does the trick, but there's some rum fun every rogue should master. The shade shift. Clear your mind and trust in your speed, and you can leave an axe-wielding brute or a spell-flinging mage chasing your shadow while you bury your stabbers in his guts. Right now, it's time you put this lesson into practice again. Some of those are all out in the lower no Lenoskia. I hope he was paying attention, lad, because those tentacles can pick up a wallop. Alright, let's go. Soft is a heart. Exactly. Exactly. I like all the character models. They're very cool. Oh, 
But yeah, the the popular character seems like this one right here. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. How long have you all been playing this game? Yeah, that's a really cool sword. I like that a lot. Like a female vampire type character. He kind of looks like an anime character. I forget which one though. Can you switch races like at the end or whatever? When you reach level 90. So you want to be a fisher. All right, so we have to go down here. That's my alarm. Where do I go? I'm lost. Swish. Let's try this way. I don't think it's this way. I think it's... Sweet. Yeah, I'm totally lost. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We'll find our way. Is there a way to get down here? That's fine. We'll just go the long way. We'll go the way that I know. Long way. Let's, 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 uh... Morabe dry docks. Where's the Morabe dry docks? Aha. That's where we want to go. The Morabe dry docks. All right. Let's go there. Boom. Yes. Perfect. Oh yeah, I'm definitely taking my time. <laughs> Not planning on rushing through this at all. I have to kill these things for some quest. Oh. Get out of here. That's the quest that I have. Yeah. Twenty seconds to go back. Let's see if we could take this guy out. Stone back. Very nice. Yeah. The story is cool. Alright, here we go. Oh, that guy's cool looking too. I like that gear. I'm a sucker for fashion. If you don't know me, I'm a sucker for fashion in video games. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, 
right, back to Fish Town. I killed the jellyfish. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Done with your practice then? <laughs> the sting on the tentacle buggers, I'll soon teach you to stay on your toes, eh? Ahem, now we've got your blood rushing. I'd say it's time to get back down to work. First things first, we need to track down them addled coves that rooked at that Magitech gadget. Might be as one of our rogues has heard something. The guild thrives on information, you see? And we've agents scattered far and wide of the glaze keen and to the ground. Let's pay a visit to Tolowin and Drowin Wench at the Drowin Wench. Ask her for a week old ale and see what you get. Doo -doo. Um, exit? Exit. The waiting game is harsh. Yeah, girls and bunnies are the popular ones, 100%. I started in January of this year. I'm almost done with Shadowbringers. You get a free bottle of Fantasia when you finish Realm of War on level 50. You can purchase more like more like that for $10. LOL, take your time. The waiting game is harsh. LOL. Just enjoy the story. Nope. Take your time and explore. That's That's the fun of it all, in my opinion. Oh, my comment wasn't directed at you, Myrtle. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> yeah, exploring in Guild Wars 2 was a lot of fun. and But the story wasn't as engaging. You know, like for me in Guild Wars, it wasn't as engaging as Final Fantasy is. I, I feel like because of the... Um, it just feels like a Final Fantasy game. I don't know. I, they just nail the storytelling. Nail it. They nailed it. All right, let's, should I keep going with this rogue quest? Yeah, let's keep going with this rogue storyline. I'm sure there's like tons of quests. There's probably like a 500 quest chain or something. That's a cool mission pole. Maybe, maybe like a thousand quests in this chain. <laughs> A friend just said that the DC travel is back up now. Should be chaotic and interesting. <laughs> I saw that when I logged in. That's new, right? My friend started this game. I don't know if he has had a chance to play since, but he plays on PS4. But I think he started on Ultra. Ultra O. I'm on Famfrit. Oh, here it is. They're here still. Yeah, there's a bunch of rows. Super muscly. Oh, they're prepping for their... For their show. I guess this is the the Jade Guild. I don't know. Wow, I love this black and white outfit. I love it. Look, oh my God, it's beautiful. My voice cracked, it's so beautiful. Anyway. Ah, oh, this game feels so alive. I love it. Look at this outfit too. That is sick. Oh, 
All right. Enough oogling over outfits. Let's uh, go to the drunk wench. <laughs> Only gonna play for 20 more minutes. Can't believe time is flying by. The drowning witch. Yeah, come visit me. Oh my god, that wall. Limsa scares me on all DCs, I think. <laughs> Hello, oh yeah, all DCs have this in Limsa. Oh, okay, they do. Ulda on Surreal is great, though. The Pope dances in the plaza every day unless a patch comes out. Oh, yeah, I'm on Primal. Yeah, no rush, no rush. Uh, you know. I know uh, viewers of streams really like to uh, go around and follow around streamers. <laughs> I'm completely okay with it. Hey, there's the little little chick. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Ah, I just completely missed that. What was that? Certainly, sir. Take a seat and I'll be right with you. Gosh darn it. Oh, yeah. A weak ale. That's what I was supposed to ask for. If usual, if our usual ale is too bold for your taste, uh, mayhaps you'd like to order from the underground menu. Yes. I... There's a lot of off- I love how your character goes like, oh, <laughs> For her custom with roguish charms. Was there something in particular I can help you with? Ah, the trouble over the Magitech loot? It was not a subtle job. The gang in question is an unusual group of former pirates calling themselves the Dainty Demolishers. <laughs> They seem to be enamored of court dandy mannerisms and have a preference for seizing Garlean machinery. They're also known for conspiring with goblins. Rumors say that the demolishers visit a beastman camp in the middle of N La Nusia to fence their goods. And those goods generally take the form of imperial technology. I imagine the goblins were rather pleased to take possession of the Mark XL111. Anti-aircraft anti cannon firing mechanism. Ooh, that sounds strong, man. I want one of those. <laughs> if you mean to steal the device back, then all your trail leads to the goblin camp in Summerford. Let's go. Summerford, eh? On the way. Meet me across the river. Got you back to Summerford, it seems. Oh, okay, bye. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I think it's this one. It's probably it's probably not true. <coughs> Co aerial crystal. I I'm not gonna remember that, but <laughs> Benfer isn't accepting travelers, just ex cabernet trust. Aw. I can switch over to Ultros real quick. Hold on. I feel like I can switch over to Ultros. I did that before. Rose. I'll be in old trolls. Here I am. World with a boxing turn. Eighth ride that it's possible to leave your home world and visit other world servers, data center to party with friends, purchase items, and tackle duties. 
Be advised that certain restrictions apply when playing on servers other than your own home world. You can view a list of these restrictions when accessing the eighth right that allows you to world visit. Sure. Wow. All right, we gotta go to Summer Falls. Oh, this person has a backpack that looks very shiny. The graphics in this game are top notch. Top notch, like. Topity notchity. Okay, that sucks because I had my free destination as Summerlin Fields or whatever. Take the chocobo porter. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to level up this rogue a little bit and then I'll go back to my main storyline. Aha, here's the porter. On reaching level 10, you'll be able to allow to rent chocobos from the stables across Aeor's. Yeah, chocobos uh, can be used for speed transport to areas which are not readily accessible via Aetherite. While riding, you will have complete control over the chocobo until you either dismount, enter deep water, or attacked, or your rental period expires. Hello. Can't, like, talk to this guy. Traveling now? Woo! I'm excited. Yeah, I'm in Ultros. Go to Ultros. And I'm going to, uh, right outside the city, this Summer Falls or whatever. Summerford Farms. Summerford Farms. I can speak, it's okay. <laughs> Pronunciation. Do this. That was a quick ride. Yeah. I'll wait up by the uh, the shard up here if you guys are gonna teleport over here. I switched over to Ultros. Brent said if you want to go to a certain one to travel to any open world on that server and then use world travel to go to the one you want. Logging in now. Let's go. I'm gonna say hello to both of you and then I'm going to log off for the night because 10 o'clock's my limit.
feel free to join uh, my Discord, The Realm of Legends. Um, I have a link in my YouTube channels, and um, I, th I think I just updated it on my Twitch panels. So that way we can um, group up and play again sometime. That'd be really fun. Yeah, I was in a Q2. It was only like for 30 people. It took me like maybe a minute or less. I'll just sit here and dance. <laughs> Is this you? Wow. Can I do like a uh, salute? There's no like high five. <laughs> You're doing squats, that's funny. And slap, clutch heads, face palm. <laughs> Pretty cool character. Storm puppy. I like that sword a lot. Wind up alpha. What's up, Anda? What? It turns green when you take it out? Look at that. That's really nice. Yeah, we're at Summerford Farms. We're just hanging out over here. I... Th Whoa! <clears throat> what is this? Is this the Alucard that you were talking about? The healer? That's so cool! You are bigger than my character. I thought I was going to be bigger, but you are. <laughs> and I like the tie. Really cool. Oh my gosh, this is kind of like, um... You kind of have like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel, a duel deck thing here. Yeah. He's nuts. What? Wait, can I get in here? Ride pillion, bounce seat one. What? Oh, wait, what? You can fly? This is the Astrologian. Transfer takes a minute. No, I have the paid game. I'm not on the trial. Um. This is so cool. I can't wait to get this. <laughs> Hello there. Is that you? Very cool character. Accepted a firm request from Divine. Oh, oh, is that the is that the uh, ninja job? How do I friend you guys? Send friend request. This player is already friend or has been requested. Okay. It's 
so cool. You look like Cloud. What is this? A wind up Namazu? Half cat, half fish. Use this item acquired to wind up Namazu. Okay. No, don't give me money. No. <laughs> That was very nice of you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, all right. I want to see what this wind up Namazu is. That's really nice of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> minions. What are minions? You have obtained a whistle with which you can summon your very own minion. To learn the call minion action, first use the whistle. Once you have used the item, a new entry will appear in your minion guide found under character in the main menu you can either initiate the action from this menu or drag the icon set to one of your hotbars to initiate it from there to send your minion away simply reselect the summoning icon minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time oh you guys are very generous thank you so much i shall remember this for all my days <laughs> weird ninja is me <laughs> You will never lose it. Once you have learned the summoning action, you will never lose it. And it can be used with all classes or jobs. Oh my gosh, you have a Shiba Inu! You have a Shiba Inu! Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this mount. Like a transformer. I bet it took a lot of time to get that. You can only summon one minion at a time. Well, minions do not generate. Well, okay, so what is en enmity? Is that like aggro? Neither will they participate in battle. If you're KO'd, your minion will simply wander off back to where they're. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's see. Use. You can now summon the seedling. How do I do that? I have no idea where the other one went. Oh, it's right there. All right, how do I summon these things? Character. Minion. <clears throat> you weren't kidding with the fashion, in the end game. Wow. Oh, look at that mount. That mount is so pretty. I love pretty. Uh, all right, let's summon this guy. Ha! Seedling. Oh. Can I summon more than one at once? No, you can't. Elephant! My wife loves elephant. Gotta show her this stream. So cool. Game. Look at it. So adorable. Yeah, it's following me. Okay, so it's kind of like the pets in WoW. That's cool. I jump on top. Got a multiple mount. Oh, it's the battle of the horses. We got pink versus yellow. Let me read the chat. Enemy is aggro. Mine is the mount you get for farming all the trial mounts and Shatterbringers. Sheba is perishable in the store. Ooh. Kieran is my favorite. Worked a whole night farming the other horses. Also summoning a mount totally doesn't look like you're picking your butt. Now you'll never unsee that. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. Hello, well, thanks for that. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zurich, uh, Anda, really been fun. Really been fun. Is this your chocobo? What level do you unlock mounts? Like level 20 or something? I really want to unlock mounts now. You got married in game? Ceremonial chocobo. It's a little like bot thing. 20? Nice. 
All right, I'll be 20 in no time. Next stream, I'm going to get level 20. <laughs> now I can probably afford it thanks to your generous donation. <laughs> Got married in game? That's so awesome. I always wanted to do something like that. You get a special ring that lets you teleport to your spouse instantly. What? All right. I'm gonna have my wife and I have a ceremony in game and I want to invite all of you as guests That's gonna be so cool. Oh, you both have that one. It's like a flying Loch Ness monster <laughs> Yeah All right, sweet did you notice, Gigan, that the mounts play music? I did not hear that. Maybe my sound is weird. I'm sure they do those. Probably really cool. I hear this little, like, horn go off every time you summon a mount. It used to be that you can't invite anyone to your wedding unless you're on another on your world, so I'm not sure if that changed. Hmm. That stinks. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride, Surik. <laughs> Hey, let's end. Let's let's end the night. Here we go. <laughs> what? I hear the music now. <clears throat> Can you change the track that that's playing? <laughs> this is a really nice quality of life. It's all mount specific. Okay. What level do you unlock flying in this game? plays a different one. Nice. You have to finish the base ARR. Okay. If you finish the base ARR and unlock flying, can you fly in the new expansion zones too? Or is it just like in the base areas? Flying is unlocked level 50, but only covers these areas. Each expansion has its own unlock. Okay, so it's kind of like World of Warcraft in that sense, where you need to unlock flying in a specific area. You want to hear something really cool? Yeah, let's hear it. That is cool. Hold on. Oh, okay, hold on. I got it. All right, let me hear it. Ah. That's so epic. What? Dude. This mount is cool. <laughs> I thought it was three and jump. That's all good. All right, now, now I'm really wanting to finish the story. Well, I can't wait for next week's stream. We got, uh, had a lot of fun tonight. 
enjoyed uh, met some new friends really happy that you both joined the stream and showed me around Aorzia and showed me your mounts and stuff like that really fun times i love talking about the different classes and you know the i can't wait to talk about the story with with everybody um because i appreciate i appreciate you not like spoiling it for me that's for sure <laughs> um but yeah until the next time everybody i will see you in the next stream and um that'd be a lot of fun i can jump on next week with you and help you taxi around that'd be really nice i appreciate the taxi have a good one y'all see you in the next stream if you're interested i do stream guild wars on thursdays but i'm not going to be streaming it this week um because i have some company coming over my house so i'm not gonna be able to stream but um I, i'll be on uh streaming tuesday night final fantasy 14. uh but yeah all right cool well see you let me uh, let me let me teleport back to uh, so to a rested zone so i get that experience you know thank you thank you so much I'm gonna leave some music on. I know you all love music. I know you all love music, so uh, I'll give you a gander at some of this music I have from Harris Heller. Put it on here. There we go. Let's do. This one. This one seems pretty cool. Alright. Peace, y'all. Have a good night. Thanks again.